Imadri no kota bari karen no koyo no ori bahi no narina kosa mari no no koto kori no kata baran na narino no ya bahi baren no no koto baren no kata narina na baren no ori no kata oh my beloved ring maiden how much longer i have allowed the bride of yahushua to stand in the gap as abraham stood in the gap for lot how much longer do you think i should wait how i am mocked how my name is scorned how my holy ones that represent me are slandered how they are killed for my sake all over the world just because i have kept it from coming to america thus far how much has been taken for granted now i tell you to say a new prayer for the end is nigh that is why the bride had to come to me on this param and be holy before me before my eyes that is why i said yoshua get your bride ready without spot or wrinkle for the evil has grown more evil and the holy has gotten more holy before my eyes my eyes were to and fro especially at this time of param in the so called christian churches this holy time is not even mentioned or some did it but with a passing glance it is this ministry that I birth to you that taught the people the meaning of the importance of the bloodline of Mordecai and the obedience of an Esther. Now I give you a new mandate to give to the bride. Don't worry about those that will scoff and mock. Don't be concerned with the look upon their faces. You must merely obey. And these are the words I have to say. I, Yahweh, command the bride of Yeshua Hamashiach this day to pray for the two witnesses. Pray for the two witnesses. For the time is coming that I am sending the angels, oh, so shortly, to confirm to the two witnesses who they are in me. Again and again, Satan has tried to take their lives. Just as there is a bride of Yeshua Hamashiach, there is a bride of Satan. This ministry has encountered them again and again and knew it not there are those who hate you with such a vengeance even 200 witches were raised up by the hand of satan to pray against you the one i call my ring maiden i would just like to put a note right here that during piram at this time this word was given in africa it was on the news and the internet 200 witches had gathered to cast their spells and curses but i you know how they say their attacks could not get through because i had the bride of yushua hamashiach covering you before they leave this earth before the two witnesses are ransomed as the first fruits they will know who they are in me i command all the members of the bride of yushua hamashiach start praying now for those I call the two witnesses. Behold, I have a telling secret to the world. Behold, I do a new thing. It is one woman and one man. Because you men scoff and mock, just as I raised up Deborah as a judge of all of Israel, judges 4:4. So too I raise up. So too it was preordained. The ones coming shall have a spirit unto a Moses. The ones coming shall have a spirit like unto Elijah. But as these two are still in the mortal flesh, the attacks have come at them. I yeah, they command all the bride of Yeshua Hamashiach that every prayer you say from now on cover them, that they will be in divine health while they are in these mortal bodies of flesh. that they will speak forth more boldly that their enemies will be destroyed before their very eyes just as Elijah of old prayed so too will the same anointing be upon these two the enemies shall cower in fear for they are going to recognize the bride of Yeshua Hamashiach is here so it is at this holy time of piram i show you how close the end is near for already i am telling you to cover the two witnesses that are on this earth yes they are already here but they are so humble and they say surely not i if it is i don't even want to know i tell you this and i speak to these who i know are the two witnesses you will know that you know even before you are taken from this earth you will return in a glorified body you will stand before that which is called a wailing wall and flame shall come forth out of your lips and fire shall come forth out of your heels and you 
shall proclaim what I tell you to proclaim. And no man and no woman and no devil and no demon will stand for the king of all creation. Who it is I, Yahweh, Yahweh, command the bride of Yahushua HaMashiach this day to pray. But remember this, when you recognize who they are, you shall see things in this earth happen in such a way as I tell them to start releasing in the spiritual realm the words I will have given them to say. So right now, bride of Yahushua, pray that they will receive and believe the anointing I have placed upon them. Remember this, it is one man and one woman. Do the work you have and do it quickly. I say again, do the work I have given you to do and do it quickly. Those of you who have hoarded gold and silver, those of you who I have blessed with gems, what good is it going to do you when it is left behind? I have abundantly blessed financially in all ways. And yet some of you who are the bride of Yahushua HaMashiach have never even written this ring maiden. Yet you have grown in secret with knowledge and gotten spiritually fat as all the knowledge and anointing you have hoarded. And you have not shared and yet I have given you no lack. I will hold you accountable what you do for the kingdom of heaven. Remember Elijah of old? I sent him to a widow of Zarephath. Although there were many, many widows in that land, I handpicked one. Who this ministry is sent to? Who I send my Elijah of new to? What have you done to them? So too you have done to me. And I tell you this, I, Yahweh, tell you this. Anyone who has touched or harmed this Almighty Wind ministry in any way, or my ring maiden in any way, it is though you have touched and put a sharp pointed stick in the pupil of I, Yahweh's eyes, and I will take vengeance and into my winepress of wrath you will go and I shall crush you in seven different directions and that's all they will hear is I crush you in every way mind, body, spirit, and soul as confirmed in prophecy 80 for did I not warn touch not my anointed and neither do my prophets any harm you think your tongue has gotten away with speaking forth these blasphemous words and you have called evil what I have called good in my eyes I will make you wish that I had cut out your tongue before you had been allowed to speak forth the dung but those who embrace this ministry those who embrace these truths those who embrace this ring maiden I embrace you for this is not just a woman this is not just a mere woman this is a vessel I Yahweh have spoken forth my truth from for those of you who have received these truths I receive you for those of you who have scorned and mocked I Yahweh have rejected you read Esther again I am symbolized in that king how many of you are Vestas you think you are so full of beauty you don't have to come when I Yahweh say come so I have exiled you into my kingdom you will not come there is a greater intercessor than Queen Esther it is my son Yahushua I tell you this O mighty bride of Yahushua of Hamashiach no good thing will I withhold from you there is a book of remembrance that has been written up and all of your names are written in love you have suffered so just to be holy so I want you to know how much I love you it is I that chose you to be my son's bride it is I Yahweh that chose you to be my son's bride remember this the bride of Yahushua is not just a woman but it is men and it is women who are without spot or wrinkle walking in obedience and about to be caught away to be with Yahushua pray to be counted worthy to be one of the bride for those who know my voice you will recognize the spirit that speaks you truly are my lambs you truly are my sheep for the others of you who say this is just Elizabeth puffed up in pride I tell you this it's you who I despise and I shall force you one day to admit that this ministry is the one that I love and all the ministries who take these words and spread them around to the four corners of this earth it is 
is you that I love. It is you that I embrace as you embrace the truths from these truths that are backed up with my holy scriptures. And how dare anyone call these prophecies false? For you to say this, you are calling my son Yahushua false. For is he not the living word? Away from me, away from me. You don't even belong here. All those who want to sit at the banquet table and feast on the truth and will take the spiritual food and feed others belong here. This is my edict. This is a command. I issue from my throne in heaven, and I have spoken it forth on this day. Bride of Yeshua HaMashiach, cover this ministry more in prayer. Cover this ring maiden and cover Nicomaya more in your prayers. Be a blessing unto them as they are a blessing unto you. For I will ask you one day why you were not. Cover these, I call the two witnesses, to the bride of Yeshua HaMashiach. And if you ask me and if you believe, I will tell you the answer. And I will reveal to you more about who I call the two witnesses. They need your covering. They need your prayers. While the two witnesses are in more flesh, Satan seeks to take their lives, to silence the truth that I have spoken. So cover whoever the two witnesses are in prayers. I, Yahweh, have been so pleased as the prayers of the bride of Yeshua have come before me on this day of Purim. As a sweet fragrance, they came to me. As a sweet incense, the angels opened them up, and I am so pleased. That is why I have had more mercy, and I said, how much longer do you want me to delay? Oh, but the end is nigh. When the seal of the prophecy is released, number 78, one of the seals will be broken. Woe be unto this world when Elizabeth speaks forth what I have hidden. Oh, but for my beloved bride of Yeshua, those who are the members of Revelation 14 and Revelation 7, you need not fear. All the guests who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb, it is true, you will have to suffer for him, Yahushua. Oh, but the rewards that you have coming. Right now the weapons the bride of Yeshua has are in the spiritual realm. But I tell you this, in the great tribulation, just as the king gave the edict, the command, and said, Take up your arms and defend yourself, so too it shall be again, but not for the Revelation 14 bride. That is why I'm redeeming them from this earth, and the two witnesses shall be amongst that number, and then they shall return. Oh, but you precious bride of Revelation 7, you're already sealed, beloved ones. No one can harm you. There will be a short time. Time you will take up arms and defend and help the guests to fight Satan and those with the mark of Satan and then you shall walk in that glorified body when you hear the words and the dead in Christ shall rise first. As you learn the word Christ is the only reason I speak it forth. It is the dead in Yeshua HaMashiach which will be the two witnesses and then those martyred at that time. These are in the second rapture along with the Revelation 7 bride and they shall be taken up before the heathen's eyes. These are the secrets reserved for Yeshua's bride. Let the other scholars and mock. This is a banquet table I lay before you this day. Those with spiritual ears shall hear and all others will remain deaf. Those with spiritual eyes shall see and all others shall remain blind. These are the words I, Yahweh, speak forth this day. The King of creation on this holy Purim day. I, Yahweh, say, prepare, beloved ones, the end is nigh. As I prophesied to you, Elizabeth, years ago of the boiling black blood plague, that would come as a sign of my wrath. I now speak this forth from my ring maiden. It has already been loosed. It has begun. The disease is in the incubation stage, and there will be no cure. But, beloved ones, be assured, all who are holy before me, live in holy and putting eye, Yahweh and Yahushua, first in their life and their love, doing their best to be obedient unto the holy scriptures. The boiling black blood plague will not come upon you. It will be as in the times of old when the plagues were loosed by Moses, speaking forth under the anointing of the real Kodesh, and the plagues did not touch the children of Israel, only the Egyptians who served and worshipped other gods, and so it shall be again. As in the days of Moses, so it shall be again. As in the days of Lot, so it shall be again. To the sinners who refuse to repent thus far, today is a day of salvation. You are reading or hearing this coming from the last chance ministry. Tomorrow may be too late. 
What are you waiting for? A religion will not save you. Only a holy, loving, obedient relationship with Yahushua and I, Yahweh, will save you. You can only return back to heaven through the name and the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach. All who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb, I have this warning for you. In the great tribulation, the one coming that is commonly called the Antichrist, who is truly the son of Satan, the son of perdition, he will come using and counterfeiting the name that is known worldwide in every kindred and tongue, the name that Christians know and love, the name of Jesus Christ. Beware. Signs, wonders, and miracles are still done, and souls are still being saved in the name of Jesus Christ. Do not fear. However, it was not yet the end time, and you were only held accountable for what you were taught. I, Yahweh, honored and anointed the name Jesus. Although my son Yahushua was given a Hebrew name by his Hebrew mother, and I am his father, his name is to contain my name, Yah. The name of Jesus has deleted my sacred name, the name that is above all names. My name Yahweh and the name of Yahushua translates to a constant reminder in every tongue, Yah saves. Is it not your custom to name the son after his father? Why do you think it is any different for your heavenly father to do the same? It is a constant reminder to you that I, Yahweh, and my son Yahushua are one. It is Satan and his servants that fear the name Yah, but I know my children's loving hearts. I even forgave you for forsaking my true Sabbath rest day, breaking the fourth commandment again and again. But I will forgive you no more. Now you are held accountable for what you know. You are held accountable to warn others. There is a higher sacred anointing in the Hebrew name of Yahushua. And in my name, Yahweh, now the end time is nigh. And I warn you, teach others what you now know is truth. There is more anointing in our holy sacred name. Use them. Make no more excuses. During the great tribulation, you must call upon my son's Hebrew name, Yahushua HaMashiach. My name is Yah, and it's in his name, the name above all names. If you do not learn this now, in the great tribulation, when you pray for deliverance or healing, and you use the name Jesus, remember that the son of Satan will be using this name as God. How can you expect to be healed, delivered, or blessed by using the same name that the son of Satan will be using? You will be calling upon the name of the son of Satan, and know it not. In the great tribulation, the son of Satan will have his own day to be set aside to be worshipped, and it will be Sunday. When Sunday worship is mandatory and you are ordered all over the world to go to your nearest local Sunday church, beware, don't go. It is a trap of the son of Satan. For anyone that does attend a Sunday church during the Great Tribulation, they will enter the door mesmerized, held captive with the spirits of illusion and mind manipulation and idolatry and rebellion, among many other powerful demonic spirits. Warn them now, they will have taken the mark of the beast and enter the church of defilement and chosen to worship the beast and accept his physical as well as spiritual mark. Warn people now before it's too late. This doesn't mean that all Sunday churches are evil now, but you are so close now. The end is nigh. You must warn the people where the pastors are failing to do so. You must teach the truth of the Hebrew sacred names of I, Yahweh, and my son, Yahushua, the only Messiah, the only blood shed for humanity for the remission of sins. I will accept no other blood sacrifice, and no other intercessor can intercede for you. And that includes no so-called dead saints. Not even Yahushua's own mother, Miriam, also called Mary, for even she needed Yahushua as her Messiah. This is the only reason any of Yahushua's bride should be attending a Sunday church. To teach the sheep and lambs the truth where the pastors have refused. Even if it is one person at a time, here is the good news. Just as my beloved children, whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life and are preordained, so too is Satan's Book of the Damned. 
Yahushua will not lose one soul whose names were written in the Lamb's Book of Life before the foundation of this world. You cannot accidentally choose to accept the mark of the beast. You will know not to do so and rather die before doing so. The only true healing signs, wonders, and miracles and resurrections come from heaven. Any other healing or deliverance is an illusion. And during the Great Tribulation, there will be illusions that appear to be true, but are lies straight from the throne of Satan. Learn now and warn others now. In the Great Tribulation, only in the name of Yahushua, not in the name of Jesus, will true delivering, healing, resurrection power come forth. People who love and serve Jesus now will wonder why their prayers are not being answered and their faith will suffer and they will even die for their faith, not understanding why deliverance did not come in that name. Warn them. So they will become accustomed to using the Hebrew name Yahushua and Yahweh and the Ruach HaKodesh. Satan does not want to counterfeit the name Yahushua with my name Yah on it. There are millions reading this that will be the guests at the marriage supper of the Lamb. And blessed you shall be. However, you will see all or part of the great tribulation. And your eyes shall be forced to behold the horror. Remember this. My wrath is not appointed unto you. It is appointed to my enemies. Stay holy and don't compromise. And call upon the name of Yahushua and rely on his strength and anointing and hang on tight to your faith. For it will not be easy. For there will be mind waves in the air that will try and brainwash you. Learn the holy scriptures now to use as a weapon during the times when Bibles will be banned. For even Satan will not be able to burn all the Bibles. Yahushua will use the holy angels and Revelation 7 Bride and Revelation 14 Bride, as well as the two witnesses, to know where the guests are and to help them as they are needed. The two witnesses will defend the guests and take vengeance for them. Learn my true Shabbat, because I, Yahweh, will especially bless and protect those who honor me on the day I, the King of all creation, set aside as a Sabbath day of rest. Just as when Yahushua walked the earth and did signs, wonders, and miracles on the Sabbath, even in the Great Tribulation, especially on my Sabbath, my holy days, the same will be done in the name of Yahushua, under the anointing of the Ruach HaKadosh. There are secrets that I have not yet spoken. Just know that I, Yahweh, will never leave nor forsake anyone that truly loves and worships and serves Yahushua and I, the King of Creation. Learn my name. It is Yahweh. The Eternal One, Yahushua is my son. Yahushua HaMashiach is your only deliverer, the only name and way back to heaven. To all those who scoff and mock at this prophetic word, you will learn the hard way that it came from my, Yahweh's mouth and given to this ring maiden. To my sheep and lambs around this world, take this word like a chain reaction and let it ring around the world. Remember, even the very elect will be deceived if possible because your pastors have starved the lambs and sheep. When you read these prophecies, you are feasting and eating holy spiritual meat. All others who deny this word, even though they claim to love Jesus and yet refuse to learn the Hebrew sacred names, the Shabbat and the holy days and feasts, they will continue to nurse on milk, for they don't want spiritual teeth to eat the spiritual meat. In the Great Tribulation, they will remember what they had read, and some will repent and know this ministry was truly heaven sent. For my babies, bride, chosen ones, and elect, look up! Your redemption draweth nigh. One way or another, you will be coming back home to heaven again.